Hey plant gang, this kind of mounding evergreen shrub that I'm in front of is Raphaelepsis umbellata, the Indian hawthorn. Uh, now you might see this listed as other species, uh, but that's the one that I want, that's kind of the one that I want to use as I describe this plant. Uh, this mounding shrub, uh, there's the cultivar that's probably the most popular on the market in my mind is one called Minor, which is a little bit smaller cultivar, uh, but you see this nice rounded habit. Uh, now where we are in zone 6B, 7A, uh, we are in fear of this plant getting frozen back down to the ground, uh, winter killed, and so really I suggest this plant for a little bit warmer zones, uh, potentially Pacific Northwest in a, in a solid zone 8 maybe in Atlanta, solid zone eight, that this plant would be a little bit more at home than it is here. Uh, white flowers in the spring cover this plant. Uh, it's being used as an alter, alternative plant to cherry laurels and a lot of commercial landscapes. Uh, but a plant you should know, as this plant is more on the rise uh, in landscapes, and uh, one that is definitely one that you'll see. Again, Raphaelepsis umbellata. Uh, this is often called the Indian hawthorn or the you do raphalepsis, uh, so you'll see it under a different couple different common names. Now this plant is typically a broad-leafed evergreen plant, can get four to six foot high, uh, can spread out about three foot wide, really cultivar dependent, you want to make sure you know the cult cultivar you're planting. Sun is uh, where you'll see this plant planted a lot, prefers moist, well-drained soil, will tolerate some drought, and that's why it's gaining more popularity as a commercial pl uh, a plant that you would plant in a commercial landscape. Really a zone 7-8 plant native to Japan and Korea, although people are trying to push this plant into a little bit colder zones with, with kind of mixed success on that. Dwarf form is available, uh, one called Minor, uh, that's often uh, found in the landscape. So when you get into the really ID characteristics of this plant that's gonna help you distinguish it from other plants, uh, alternate leaf arrangement, uh, but then the leaves tend to get uh, at least to the eye, the untrained eye would be very world looking at the top. Uh, very scalloped serrations on the edge. If you look at the back side of the leaf, it's almost matrixy like if you kind of uh, get close in on that plant. Here's a landscape tip. This plant can provide a variety of multi-season interests, however, it is not deer resistant.